Trump campaign is facing backlash for an apparent altercation at Arlington National Cemetery between the Trump team and cemetery staff. That is sacred ground. Uh, you're a former Army Ranger. Is he politicizing these soldiers' deaths? Should he even be at Arlington National Cemetery? Arlington National Cemetery confirmed the incident, telling CNN, quote, federal law prohibits political campaign or election-related activities within Army National Military Cemeteries to include photographers, content creators, or any other persons attending for purposes or in direct support of a partisan political candidate's campaign. <laughs> Except that's all wrong. And I'm about to give you the scoop on this latest lying media hoax targeted at Trump. According to the bubbling ignorant Democrat masses, Trump has committed another high crime felony that he must be immediately arrested, charged, and in prison for. This is a federal crime according to the media and their orc hordes on social media, but is it? Not a chance. I'll answer that, but before I blow your mind, let me help your body by telling you about these three health foods that might actually be making you feel worse. We live in the most advanced era in human history. There's never been more medical breakthroughs than there are right now. So why are millions of Americans more overweight and unhealthy than they've ever been before? According to US board certified physician and expert nutritionist, Dr. Amy Lee, one of the main reasons is three harmful foods that are being passed off as health foods all over the country. And wait till you hear this. Because these foods can cause weight gain, clog your digestive tract, deplete your energy and wreck your skin, they are banned in other countries. Yet shockingly, they're still legal here in the US and it's time someone shined a light on what they are. Dr. Amy Lee does just that while explaining how the side effects from these foods are wreaking havoc on the health of millions of Americans. The great news is it's easy to stop and reverse this damage by simply learning what foods to avoid and how to spot them. By doing so, you can experience easier weight loss, smoother digestion, and vibrant energy. To find out about these three fake health foods, go to 3harmfulfoods.com forward slash drone. That's the number three, harmfulfoods.com forward slash drone. Or click on the link in the description below or pin comment. After years of extensive study, Dr. Amy Lee has put together a revealing video, totally free for the public, so you never get duped by these foods again. Find out all you need to know to regain control of your body at threeharmfulfoods.com forward slash drone. Or click on the link in the description or pin comment. Federal law prohibits political campaign or election related activities within Army National Military Cemeteries to include photographers, content creators, or any other persons attending for purposes or in direct support of a partisan political candidate's campaign. Nonsense, pants. This brings us to Trump's supposed latest scandal, where he and his group took photos and videos at the cemetery, which apparently one of the employees didn't like and tried to stop. Allegedly, there was a scuffle, which is funny because it would be very very in line with what we see from public officials in these First Amendment audit videos. I violated my constitutional rights. I have a constitutional right to film in public. That's what you just don't understand. I'm not, there's no laws or rules in anywhere. You no. can just do whatever you want. No, that's not true. If you right, can, so they have a law that says what you're doing was wrong. They have so a they would policy. Like you to leave. They have a policy. So they a would policy. like you to leave, and that's what we did. No, but the law protects me to do what I do. You understand? No, 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 no. It's no, a no, constitutionally no, no. protected Put that activity. On your YouTube feed it's constitutionally wrong. protected you're activity. Wrong. These public officials, police included, think they have these authorities that they just don't have, and that's part of the problem. They're saying that Donald Trump and his group needed some kind of an authorization to be there taking photos and videos at the cemetery. Well, the fact is, the cemetery is open to the public and is publicly funded, so it is public, and thus the government cannot take any right from you to take photographs while there. You literally don't need any authorization, and if they tried to push it in the courts, they would lose. But guess what? Trump did have authorization to be there taking photographs and videos. What the actual f did you just say to me right now? According to Abigail Goldstar families and Purple Heart recipients who were there at the time, quote, we would like to express our our heartfelt thanks and appreciation to President Donald J. Trump for his presence at the recent Section 60 gathering, honoring our children and their fallen brothers and sisters. On the three-year anniversary of the Abbey Gate bombing, the president and his team conducted themselves with nothing but the utmost respect and dignity for all of our service members, especially our beloved children. We had given our approval for President Trump's official videographer and photographer to attend the event, ensuring these sacred moments of remembrance were respectfully captured and so we can cherish these memories forever. Well, 
That about does her. Wraps are all up. So what exactly is the scandal here? There isn't one. It's yet another made up hoax by the Democrats and their state media accomplices because Joe Biden didn't show up to this thing at all and he's the one that got them killed. The media is so desperate to distract from Kamala Harris and Tim Walls not doing any interviews or showing themselves to the public at all. So they're just creating this fake controversy out of thin air. And there's a controversy here is that one of these public officials tried to physically stop them from doing constitutionally protected activities. I'll admit, I'm not a lawyer, so I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure that I'm correct. If you have another perspective of this I am interested, let me know in the comment section. Or you can follow my discussion I'm currently having on this on X. For one, we have a constitutional right to audit and film our public officials in the course of their duties. And this right is acknowledged in the first amendment this isn't some wild fringe theory this is accepted case law and i just want you to take notice about something this says it does say that public filming is a first amendment right but then mentions libraries and say that they may consider themselves a limited public forum and have policies that prohibit filming without permission except libraries don't have to get your permission to film you when you walk into that public space oh that was different even if there was a law or cfr like people are saying there is against taking photos and videos in the public cemetery, even for partisan purposes, which this law seems to say, it would be utterly unconstitutional and it would never survive a court challenge. It should be basic knowledge to people that you can't make a law or a rule that violates people's constitutional rights, especially when it's in public. Public photography is very settled case law as constitutionally protected. Now, I can already hear the anti-First Amendment audit people out there who are screaming at me right now saying that there are restrictions on public property to freedom of speech. Yes, there are some restrictions, but it's not necessarily to the freedom of speech. It's to when you can be there to do your freedom of speech. And that would be time, place, and manner restrictions. And these are also supposed to be reasonable. So as far as the time goes, we have the operating hours. Trump was there during the operating hours. Then we have the place. Well, he was in a place that wasn't restricted. And as we now know, he had authorization to be there, which he didn't even need because it's a public place which was currently open and the manner which would be peaceful you have to be peaceful and trump obviously was they were peaceful until whatever official was there tried to stop them from what they were doing so we're not really clear what happened there i have a feeling it's being more blown up than it actually was but like i said you know he was peaceful he did have authorization to be there and so trump meets all of those criteria this is boilerplate first amendment stuff it is well settled case law and trump was well within his rights in fact if any of these public employees put their hands on trump or any of his entourage they are the ones who would have been committing a crime what do you all think am i talking out of my ass or do i have a point here let me know in the comments and then if you're still here you might as well hit that like button and subscribe i post regularly so keep checking back for more thanks a lot